So you started using RPG Builder and now you might be wondering how to add my own models to the game. It's very simple and you can use any model you want in RPG Builder for your characters. As you can see at the end of the video, I'm even going to show you how to use this wolf as a player character. Now, if you haven't yet decided what character models you wanted to use for your game or like what art style, you can definitely take a look at our stylized human males. Not only they come with both male and female, but they also come with a lot of armor sets and many of which are not released yet. We are constantly producing new ones. If you want something a bit more low poly, we also have our own collection of low poly characters that you can see here. They also come with armor sets and a lot of customization. And lastly, if you want to go for an animal player, character we also release a lot of those and we have many more on the way a nice little advantage of using the the character models we prepare or like we make for you is that you do not have to follow this video all of this is already done for you in the package so you just import it and it's done anyway let's take a look at how to add actual you know custom characters which are not made by us so first of all, I'm going to hide the wolf here. We're going to come back to it later. And we're going to take a look at the demo character prefab from RPG Builder and the Cinti one here that I'm going to use as an example. So the first thing is making sure they are both in the scene. So to have the demo character prefab in the scene, you go under Blink, RPG Builder, Characters, and you can drag and drop the character human male here. Already did it. And of course, you also drag your own prefab, whatever uh, prefab it is from any pack you want to use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select both, right click and unpack prefabs. Now we can fully edit them, modify them and uh, etc. Now, um, what do they have inside? As you can see, the Cinti one has um, the model, so like what represents the character. And it has something called um, roots, which is the rig. Um, this can be called many different things depending on who made the model. Sometimes it's called skeleton, armature, or roots. Um, if you're not sure where to find this from your character, uh, usually you can expand it and you will start seeing things with um, bone names. So you have spine, legs, and things like this. And the last one, so usually roots or armature, etc., is uh, the one you will need for this video. But anyway, uh, the first step will be to go in the character human male here and simply delete the armature. So now we deleted the rig and as you can see, he's taking a nap, but uh, we don't really care because I'm also going to go ahead and delete accessories, body and customization from the meshes um, parent here. So now the demo character prefab is completely gone or almost because I still have the armors to delete here. But yeah, now it's completely gone. I could still go in game like this and it would work perfectly um, fine. But yeah, we can't really see our character. So let's make sure that this character prefab is now using uh, the Cinti model. So the first step is drag and dropping root or whatever name it is inside the armature parent. And it's very important to right click and reset the transform. Now I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the meshes here. Um, and I'm going to be looking for you know, things like body and armor part, armor parts, my bad. And I'm going to take those and drag and drop them inside meshes. Right click, reset as well. So everything is centered, everything is clean. We don't need the female part for this uh, video. Of course, this one is only going to be the male character. And lastly, we want to uh, replace, let me collapse this for now. Uh, we want to replace the avatar here, which is important. Otherwise the character might not animate properly. So uh, to find the avatar of your character, there are two easy ways. Either the developer already set up an animator on the character, just like it is now, and I can simply click this. It's going to show me the avatar in the project and drag and drop it here. Now, if your um, pack does not have this, I suggest that you find uh, one of its models. So for example, the head here or whatever, and you click on the mesh field here from the skin mesh render, and it's going to take you to its FBX. And if you go all the way at the bottom, it's going to be the same thing. And here you can find the avatar. Okay, all done. So um, that's pretty much all you had to do. Now we can delete this and we can keep the character human male here. And um, that's it. We can clean, clean things up here. It's actually not needed. It will not throw errors, but I can set this to zero. Uh, armor piece to zero. I'm going to cover both the body part and the armor pieces in another video as well as weapon slot and things like that. In this video we only focus about getting your model in the game and then later about how to push it even further. Um, now I'm going to name this character just maybe Cinti. 
and I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it in one of the folder of my choice. It could be anywhere you want. In my case, I'm just going to keep it in uh, the characters folder. And very important, just delete it from the main menu scene because uh, we don't need it in there. Now, if you go under RPG Builder, Character, Races, and of course you can either make a new race here, but in this case, just to keep it uh, simple, I'm going to replace the existing race. And we don't have anything else to do. Uh, I'm going to hit save. And now when going in game, not only we can create new characters using this, as you can see, but we can also go to our previous character and everything will still work the same. As you can see, they all have nice names, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so here I'm going to call this one Sinti and go ahead and go in game. I'm going to go full screen. And now we are in game in the demo scene of RPG Builder, or of course in your custom scene, we can go around. Uh, work, the animations are working, we can even, you know, use ability and the attack animation will be working just fine. So this part is done, now you can enjoy your character in game and we're going to be taking a look at how to do the same thing for um, something that is not a humanoid, not something like a human, okay? Uh, this has just a few more steps but it's still very easy. So just like before, I'm going to drag and drop the character human male in there and I'm now going to enable the uh, wolf boss that we will be using. So I'm going to again unpack those two prefab. So right click, unpack. And here you can see that because it's one of our model, of course, it has a very, very similar setup. So things are even easier. But again, it will work with any other asset from any other publisher. Now I'm going to delete the armature. You already did that one. So now it should be easy, right? We delete the armature, we delete the meshes and we delete the armors. And I'm going to drag and drop the um, armature under the armature parent. Right click, reset, transform. And I'm going to uh, right, um, drag and drop the body under the meshes. And also reset, uh, transform. And that's it. Now we have the avatar. Again, I'm going to click on it, find it, and drag and drop it inside the um, animator here. And we can now delete the wolf. And lastly, we can also clean uh, those things so we don't have empty entries here um, and that's fine. Now, the only last step that you have to do uh, when using something that is not a humanoid is that as you can imagine, this wolf is not going to be able to play the character um, animations from before because these were made for a human, right? He can't work and run the same way. So he has his own animations. So what we're going to do here is click on this, the human rest override. And as you can see, it takes us to this folder and I'm going to just control D. So you press control D to duplicate and I'm going to call this wolf. You can call this however you want. I'm going to drag and drop this inside the wolf. And what we're going to do now is uh, when we select it, it shows you all the animations that by default a RPG Builder character has, right? So we have a lot of things like attacks, um, run forward and so on. Again, like I said, those will not work for our wolf. So what we need to do is go inside the folder that has the animations for a character. Again, this could be anywhere in your project. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop something like idle, for example. And uh, most importantly, run forward. So I'm going to drag and drop this one here. I'm not going to replace all of them in this video because as you can see, there are quite a bit, but I'm just going to show you the basic ones uh, just to show you how easy and to make sure that everything works in game. So that's it. Uh, that's going to be it for our new wolf override. And now I'm going to uh, save this as character wolf. Okay, so now in just under 10 minutes, we created a, a new character prefab for uh, Sinti and um, a wolf, which are, you know, very different and is very cool. Now let's get this wolf in game. Again, I'm not going to make any race. So this time we're going to drag and drop the um, wolf prefab here. But as you can see here, it is still using the human rest override. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those by the wolf. If you're wondering why there are two, it's because, again, this will be covered in another video, but uh, RPG Builder lets you play completely different animation outside of combat and inside of combat for more uh, polish and customization. But anyway, let's save and let's go in game now. So same as before, if I go to new character, it works. If I go to previous character, it works as well. And um, we're going to call this one wolf with two F and that's it. Now we're in game and we can work around and we're in the demo scene and we can, um, you know, you can start using your abilities and everything will work um, 
just fine. So if you have any question, let me know. If you had any issues with um, the setup during this video, of course, come in the Discord, but this should be pretty straightforward. And I hope you liked the video and um, see you in the next one.